Yo guys, what's up? KLN here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you have to see we're an ultimate team and today we're going to be reviewing your boy 86 rated Eric Maxim Chupu Morting. So he does have a pretty solid card, it's a pretty nice card I'm not going to lie. Despite being a free card for objective, well, I suppose it's not really free, it is an objective and of course it does take time. But regardless, you don't have to pay any money for him. So I decided to go ahead, try him out, put him in the team for weekend league and see how he plays so that was the team that i used him in and heading into the player bio he's six foot three tall with high to medium work rates right footed primarily with the three star skills which isn't great but he does have a four star weak foot now heading into the player details he can play striker center forward and he can also start in that left mid position which is of course pretty useful um, for squad building as you guys can see now heading into the attribute details i decided to slap a hunter camp style on the card purely to boost the acceleration as much as possible because without the hunter camp style he doesn't really have that good acceleration but with the hunter camp style 83 is decent enough and it maxes out the sprint speed the shooting on the card looks sensational with the hunter camp style he's got 95 attack positioning 96 finishing 97 shot power 76 long shots 99 volleys and 90 penalties the passing is decent he's got 86 short pass 72 long pass and 85 curve which like i said is pretty solid Dribbling looks pretty decent as well, apart from the balance, it's got 81 agility, 84 reactions, 87 ball control, 90 dribbling which is very good and 84 composure. The heading and jumping looks pretty solid and the downside to the card of course is a 64 stamina but we are going to see how that plays out and if he can win the game for us before getting taken off. Traits, he's got the flare trait and the flare trait only but without further ado, let's get straight into the gameplay highlights for 86 rates of part to glory. Eric Maxim triple marching and straight off the bat takes a touch, goes for goal and finds a top corner. Brilliant finish, clinical finish, and we do take the lead. By the way, this is in the second game that I tried him in. First game, I lost 7 0 and could do absolutely nothing. But in the second game, we get one goal, and here you guys will see you get an assist. A pretty good pass on triple marching, slices it in behind. He's got 86 short passing and shows a very solid pass, and we are able to get a goal from it. Heading into the next clip in this match, we are going to try to get another goal contribution, of course, with Chopo Motting. Cannot move for some reason. He did not take a touch to get past his players. But here, keeps the ball very close to him, takes some pretty good touches there to get between the defenders and finds the top corner on the four-star weak foot. And we do get two goals and one assist so far. But we are going to try and get a hat-trick with him. Leal flicks it on. Brilliant flick. Chopo Motting controls it and a brilliant finish into the bottom corner. Clinical, calm and composed and we do end up getting, like I said, a hat-trick with Chupa Morting, but unfortunately it wasn't enough and we do lose 5-4 despite him grabbing all four goal contributions. Moving on to the next clip and assist with Chupa Morting, gets it into Emre Chan after some pretty decent dribbling and Chan tucks it away. Very good finish but good dribbling from Chupa Morting to hold the ball up and a pinpoint point accurate pass to find Emre Chan that we were able to score from. Moving on to the next up here, Mane gets it in behind, going to test out his pace, he takes on Rudiger and beats him, can he get past Davids and Sanchez? No, but we are going to dribble him, cuts back in and finds the back of the net with a brilliant finish. Honestly, this guy does feel pretty fast, but obviously he does get tired very, very quickly with the 64 stamina. Heading into the next match, or well, next clip, sorry, Araujo wins it back, drills it into Higuain, Higuain finds Almiron, can Chupo Martin catch up to us? Yes, he can in the nick of time. And we can just pass it into the back of an empty net. Keeper, nowhere to be found. This guy's had enough. He pauses and he does end up quitting. And we do end up winning this match. Courtesy of two goals and an assist with Chupo Martin. Moving on to the next match. Amiron finds Mane. Mane finds Chupo Martin. Testing out the first time shots in the box on the four-star weak foot. And he tucks it away brilliantly yet again very good finish and here we're going to try to replicate that Mascherano gets it into Valverde again Valverde finds Chupo Morting can we accelerate through yes we can very good acceleration there from Chupo Morting despite it being pretty low compared to the spin speed but nonetheless a good touch through and we do get another goal and straight off the bat here this guy plays the ball out of play we do get a throw in i'm gonna take it quickly with jesus navas gets it into valverde he finds chopo morting and holds up the play gets it into almiron and continues his run it's a good thing over the top by almiron can we hold up robertson yes we can we keep it going we go for goal and the keeper makes a save we can try and dribble a little bit but okay that was a terribly slow um croak turn but regardless we do end up winning the ball back and we do end up scoring here takes a touch goes for goal and finds the top corner honestly 
Dribbling isn't really the car's strong point, although the actual dribbling side is decent. Dribbling isn't really the car's strong point. You get the ball with this guy, you want to take a touch, you want to shoot, and you will most likely score because the finishing on this card is very good. So, like I said, dribbling isn't really the strong point, but just before the half, he manages to make it 3-3. And here, to get a fourth goal in this game, a brilliant pass by Mascherano, and what a finish that is on the half volley outside of the boot. He finds the top corner with a ridiculous goal. Fantastic finish by Chopo Morting. And we get four goals, like I said, with him in this game. And not much longer afterwards. Almiron, good skill. Sends it through for Chopo Morting. Keepers off his line. First time chip shot. Perfectly weighted. Absolutely perfectly weighted. A delicate, beautiful chip shot over the goalkeeper. And he stands absolutely no chance. And we do end up scoring yet another goal. Five goals, actually, in that game with Chopo Morting. Moving on to the next match here, Mascherano gets it into Almiron again. Chopo Morting makes a run, Almiron smashes it over the top for him. He's 1-1 one -on -one with the goalkeeper. This guy tries to move his keeper to the other side of the goal, thinking I was going to go for the cross goal shot. I curl it in at the near post, and we do get the first goal of this game with Chopo Morting. Heading into the next clip here, Almiron gets the pass out to him, gets past to Mori, and another brilliant chip shot into the back of the net, looped to perfection, and we do get a brace in this match. But straight off the bat here, this guy obviously is going to try and score straight from kickoff. And we are going to stop him with a crunching tackle by Fernand Mendy. Mane gets it over the top of Chupo Morting. First time, green timed. And unfortunately, it is wide. What a goal that would have been though. Anyway, moving on then. Mane gets it into Chupo Morting here. Goes for goal. That is red timed. It's red timed. And he has somehow smashed it past the goalkeeper. And then. But regardless, on to the next clip here. That pass didn't work out. Chupo Morting wins it back. Can we dribble the goalkeeper? Not really. Can we dribble Veron? Yes, we can. And a very, very good finish. I made things a lot harder than it needed to be, I'm not going to lie. But I made sure to take it past somebody. I just wanted to try and dribble someone in that clip. And we dribble Veron and ended up scoring. Heading into the next clip here, Chopo Martin finds Almiron, gives it back to him. First time, green timed, and the keeper does fly to his right hand side to make a pretty solid save. But from the corner, Navas. All the way out to Valverde, he finds Mane, goes for goal, he's denied, but Chupo Morting is there, right place at the right time, and a poacher's goal that he finds back of the net from. Fantastic, well, positioning I guess from Chupo Morting, and like I said, we do end up scoring. First goal of the match with him, and straight off the bat here, we end up winning possession back from kickoff, and obviously we're going to try to get another goal with him. Valverde finds Almiron, not a goal, but a pretty good assist if I do say so myself. Gets him behind a perfectly accurate header to find Mane and Mane tucks it away. Moving on to the last clip of this video, Chopo Morting runs in behind and that is a cracking finish into the back of the net. I did say that was the last clip, I was wrong. This is the last clip. Chopo Morting drops deep, knocks it on and we can go forward from here. Does very well to keep it from Konate and then bounces off Kyle Walker, runs forward on a try finesse shot, goes for goal and finds the top corner with an absolutely Brilliant finish and with that being said it is time to review the card and as you guys will see a ridiculous goal return from Chopo Morting. 7 games, 17 goals and 3 assists which is honestly absolutely ridiculous. 20 goal contributions from 7 games in Weekend League as striker is honestly very very good and this man has carried my team. Is he worth the grind? I will let you guys know at the end of the video. First things first we're going to go through the attribute details. Rank each category out of 10 and then I'll let you know if he is worth the coins. So when it comes down to the pace, this man is pretty fast but he is not quick by any means. He's very fast running in behind because he does have 99 sprint speed and you can feel it as you guys have seen throughout this video. This man's ability to actually run in behind is very good but you give the ball to him and expect him to move in and out of quick spaces, he can't because of the very low acceleration. Now despite him having plus 8 to the acceleration, it is still not that great. So for the shoot, for the pace, sorry, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. I feel as though he is fast enough and he does deserve a 9 out of 10, especially with that 9 to 9 sprint speed. When it comes down to the shooting though, the shooting is sensational. This guy is clinical, he tucks away basically everything. Long shots aren't decent, but if you want to boost that, you can give him the Hawk camp style. Of course, it will take away a little bit of the acceleration boost that the Hunter gives him. But regardless, if you feel as though the long shots do compensate for the acceleration, no need to accelerate past players, just shoot and it should fly into the top corner. But honestly, shooting is fantastic, I'm going to give him a 9.1 out of 10. It is very good and he is extremely clinical on both feet. 
passing is pretty decent i won't lie the short passing on the card is solid he can make those quick intricate passes between teammates and the long passing is not great but it's not bad same with the crossing so for passing i'm gonna give him an 8.2 out of 10 i feel that is a fair rating especially because he's a striker he's mainly going to be making the quick short passes so an 8.2 out of 10 i feel is accurate now the dribbling this is interesting because this man is very tall and he's got very low balance so when it comes down to the dribbling i genuinely think that he is pretty good but occasionally he is going to take very clunky donkey like touches so unfortunately dribbling doesn't get a 9 out of 10 but is it worth 8.9 i would say so so for dribbling an 8.9 out of 10 heading accuracy is sensational i haven't tried too many headers with him but the one i tried he put it on a plate for money and got misses. so heading is pretty good and physical this man is very strong he is very strong and very difficult to push off the ball but that 64 stamina is absolutely horrendous you can only use him for around 70 minutes with a push so genuinely for the physical he is very strong but the stamina of course does kill the card quite a lot so i'm going to give him an 8.8 .8 out of 10 for stamina for for physical sorry if he lasted the full 90 line out of 10 without a doubt but he doesn't he only lasts 70 minutes so yeah if you use the card as a super sub he will be absolutely ridiculous but obviously you're watching this video to know if you should get him for your team to start him and i honestly think he is a very good card but the major downside of course is the stamina and you will have to take him off um at around 70 minutes he will probably have like no stamina left so with that being said is this card worth it a hundred percent it is worth it if you are willing to accept the fact that he will not last the whole game but like i said he is worth it and with that being said it is time to bring it into the video if you liked it smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until then guys stay tuned for the next one peace